this mean that I haven't lost you? Would you tell me that you still love me? Dimitri, I never stopped loving you. Love was never the real problem, was it? I will do anything that I have to do to make sure that we're never apart again. It sounds like you love me, too. I have never stopped loving you. You know that. I love you now more than, than before. Well, love sometimes grows whether you want it to or not. My love for you is the one thing that's kept me going. You were surprised when I asked you to dance, weren't you? I was floored. I pretended not to care. That I did fine for a little while until I, I took a hold of you, until I held you in my arms. And I, I know that you felt the same way. Well, I was wondering, would this be the last time I was ever held in his arms? And the answer is no. Dimitri. The answer is yes. I can live without you. I have to. I can live without you. I have to. What? Tonight was a test, Dimitri. To see if I could face you. To see if I could watch you talk and laugh, dance with your wife. My wife wasn't even here. No. No, you showed up alone. That presented even more of a challenge. You were testing me? No, no, not you. I was testing myself to see if I could be strong. To see if I could see if I could dance with you and kiss you and be held in your arms and hear you tell me that you love me. And then could I look into my soul and honestly say I could live without you? The answer was yes. I passed the test, Dimitri. Goodbye. You passed. Because we have teaching hospitals. How dare you have with research arrested. teams who are you should be eager to tarred and feathered and ridden out of town on the rail. Of a disease you, uh, that two please be quiet. This room will not have. Is there no end to your abuse of your If I wanted your opinion, yes. Mrs. Wallingford, I would have asked. Oh, well. Tonight is a celebration. It's a celebration of, of life. It's a celebration of life and an opportunity for us to stand together in this crusade against cancer, and also for us to dig deeply into our pockets and to contribute to the tremendous advance advances that medical technology has made, and most importantly, for us to, to honor the love and the courage that it takes to survive. So I have no choice but to ask you to dig deeply into your pockets and to join me and your neighbors in making this world a better place for everyone. Come here, I want to talk to you. What the hell is going on with you? I'll tell you exactly what's going on, Mary. While you're standing around here admiring Erica's fundraising techniques, your wife is spending the night all alone in your father's hunting lodge. Did you know that? 
So that's where she went to. Ah, comes as a bit of a surprise to you, does it? Look, what's not a surprise is you're running after her as soon as you found just out what up, she just was. Just shut up and listen for a change. Do you want to know why your wife's there? She's there trying to figure out what she did wrong, how she failed you. Because she thinks it's her fault that you want to escape from her. She thinks you reopened this lodge just so you could get away from her. Look, a man's entitled to his privacy. Yeah, yeah, sure. But that's not why you reopened this lodge, is it? No, you didn't come there to, to brood and to read poetry. No, you reopened the lodge so you'd have a nice, warm little love nest for you. Now you your hold business. it now. And I can't tell you how badly I wanted to tell your wife the truth. I don't need to listen to this. I think you do, Dimitri. I think you need very badly to listen to this. You might not be sleeping with Erica Kane right now, but you're still in love with her. And you're still lying to your wife about your feelings. And you're still playing the dutiful husband, and you know that that's a lie. Yeah, what gives you the right to pass judgment? Lies hurt people, Dimitri. And if you live your entire life as a lie, then everybody that comes into your life gets hurt. Edmund, Angelique. Yeah, yeah, Eric. I know. There's no end to that list. No, I'm there sure. probably isn't. You know what the worst part is? You don't even know that your lies are destroying their lives. You don't even see what the hell you're doing to them, do you? You know, you once advised me to make sure my house was in order before I started calling into question some of the things you were doing. It's pretty good advice. As a matter of fact, I took your advice and I went to your wife. And I told her that I was in love with her. I don't need to hear this. And she very, very kindly told me to take a hike. <laughs> You've said enough. You see, she's loyal to you, Dimitri. She's loyal to you. She's loyal to the marriage vows that she... I said enough! You. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you always say when you start hearing something that you really don't want to hear, isn't it? All right. You told her that you loved her. That's right. You could have exposed my affair with Eric. Oh, don't think I wasn't tempted. Why didn't you? Because, Dimitri, I'm not the man she needs to hear that from. She needs to hear it from her husband. You see, if I told her all this, I'd be as big a jerk as you are. going on. Good night, Erica.